Hello everyone, it's Friday, week number four of Composer Profiles. Today's composer is Felix Mendelssohn. Let's get started. <laughs> So Felix Mendelssohn was born as Jacob Ludwig Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi on February 3rd of 1809 to Jewish parents Abraham and Leah Salomon Mendelssohn in Hamburg, Germany. Felix was the second of four children. His older sister Fanny was also expressing talent in music. Now before any of the Mendelssohn children were born, Abraham and Leah recounted their Jewish heritage, and while the children had no religious upbringing, uh, they all converted to Lutheranism by 1816. Now, when Felix was just two years old, the family moved to Berlin, which was where Felix's formal music training began. Uh, it should be noted that Fanny was the child who originally displayed the most musical talent, uh, becoming a well-known pianist and composer. Now, while her father Abraham thought that she would be the musical member of the family, it was not custom during that time for women to have a career in music, so Fanny continued to make music, but not in a professional setting. And moving back to Felix now, once they moved to Berlin, he began to take piano lessons with Ludwig Berger, as well as composition and counterpoint lessons from Carl Friedrich Zelter. His sister Fanny also took counterpoint lessons and composition lessons from Zelter as well. Now, Zelter's instruction played an important part in Felix's music musical development from an early on in his composition, and he was quick to establish himself as a child prodigy just like Mozart was. He made his public debut at the age of nine in Berlin, composing five operas and eleven symphonies during his childhood. That just makes me want to give up on life. It's noted that a lot of Felix's most famous and prolific pieces of music were composed before he was 20 years old. Such works include his first symphony, which was composed in 1824 when he was 15, a string octet in E-flat major that he composed at the age of 16, and one year later, the overture to Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, it wasn't until much later, 1842 to be exact, that he composed the infamous Wedding March for that play. In 1821, Felix met the poet J.W. Van Gogh, and the two developed a remarkable friendship, so much so that Felix dedicated his 1825 work, Piano Quartet No. 3 in B minor, to Van Gogh. And Felix cites Van Gogh as an inspiration to other works written throughout the late 1820s. Now, later on, Felix also began to make a name for himself as a conductor. In the spring of 1829, he conducted a performance of St. Matthew's Passion in Berlin, uh, later traveling to London to conduct his first symphony with the London Philharmonic Society. Following that, he took a three-year tour of Europe, during which he published his first book of songs entitled Songs Without Words, which dates from 1832. And his 1833 Italian symphony was also born of this period and is considered to be one of his most famous works. In 1835, Felix was named the conductor of the Leipzig Gewaldhaus Orchestra in Leipzig, Germany, where he focused much of his time developing the musical life of the city. A landmark performance in Leipzig came in 1836 when Felix premiered his Oratorio St. Paul shortly after the death of his father. Perhaps Felix's greatest accomplishment during his time in Leipzig was the foundation of the Leipzig Conservatory, now called uh, this this name. Yeah, I'm just not going to pronounce that. You know, I'm German, but I can't pronounce German to save my life. Now, with the help of other prolific composers, such as Robert Schumann, the conservatory began to take shape. Now, Felix continued to travel throughout the 1830s and 1840s, focusing most of his time in Britain and Germany. In 1837, he married Cecil Jean Renaud, the daughter of a Reformed Church clergyman, who was 10 years younger than Felix, and the couple had five children together. Felix began to decline in health during the mid-1840s, mostly after the death of Fanny in the spring of 1847. After a series of strokes, Felix died on November 4th of 1847 in Leipzig, and he was only 38. Now, as a composer, anything goes for Felix, literally. He wrote everything from chamber music to symphonies to church music, you name it, he wrote it back then. It's noted that a good amount of the songs that Felix wrote were actually written by his sister Fanny, but given the prejudice toward the women in music at that time, his name was attributed to the compositions. One composition that most people will recognize is the hymn tune Mendelssohn, which is aptly applied to the well-known Christmas song Hark the Herald Angels Sing. 
Of his more famous larger works are, as previously mentioned, The Overture to A Midsummer Night's Dream, as well as The Wedding March written for that play, and his 1846 oratorio, Elijah. Thank you all for watching this. This has been the fourth installment of our composer profiles. I am looking forward to continuing this throughout the summer and maybe even into the fall, possibly. That's all from here. Have a great weekend. I will see all you guys on Monday. Take care.